Hey everybody, welcome back to the LAN portal. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to export data from a filtered search off of the LAN portal and into a CSV or an Excel file. So let's get to it. First off, I'm gonna hit filtered search up here. If you guys have not watched the filtered search video prior to this one, make sure you watch that so you understand these different filters, what you can filter from and how they work. But for this one, we're just gonna do vacant lots. We're gonna do Georgia and we're gonna do Macon County. For the acreage, again, this is vacant lots. For the acreage, we are gonna do two to 2.5 acres, and I'm gonna hit apply. So if you've already tested everything, you've looked at your data, that's all prior, but if you're ready to export the data, so you have all of this, you're ready to export, you're gonna hit export. And from here, we have a few choices within here, and I'm just gonna start top to bottom. So at the top here, you can choose Excel, or you can choose CSV. I'm gonna choose Excel for this file, and now you can name your order. So in the order history, you're gonna see this in the future. If you need to go back to the data, the data stays for 60 days, you can name this. So let's just name it Macon County, Georgia, um, two to 2.5 acres, okay? So we're just gonna keep it simple like that. Um, here you can see the total items. So 93, the reason it is not 94 is because we pull out any properties without mailing addresses. So that is already pre, if you, for some reason you want to text or you want a cold call and you don't care if it has mailing addresses or not, you can uncheck this box and then you can see that number is going to go up to 94. We're going to keep that on. You can also send export list to my email. You'll have access to pull it directly from the land portal. No real need unless you want it emailed to you or for a file, whatever it is, but it will be accessible on the land portal. Uh, so you can check or not check that. And then finally, remove duplicates. So if one owner owns five pieces of land, that's going to only give you one line of data for that owner, and it's going to be the highest acreage. Then I'm gonna hit remove duplicates to do that, and you can see this number jump down from 93 to 86. Once you're all ready, and you can see the price per record, that is gonna be determined based on your subscription level. You always have the chance to buy down if you're not at the, low, uh, at the highest one, you can buy down and get cheaper data records. But this account is six cents per record, $5.16, and then uh, you choose your card, everything like that, and you hit place order. This might take five or 10 seconds, it shouldn't be long. The bigger the file, it could take up to 20, 30 seconds, but this is generally a very quick process with this. And once it's complete, you can see your order has been successfully placed uh, and you can download it straight from here. So if I click download, it's going to download. And then you can also go to your order history and have the ability to download it straight from here. Once you hit this, you're gonna have the file and you are all ready to go. You have your entire file of your landowners and it's as easy as that. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much.